A blend of three splendorous districts of the island nation enthralls tourists with amazing temptations. The eastern boundary of Sri Lanka, which leaves a textural footprint in the country's map, creates the most stunning coastal belt of the island. Teeming with an array of internal lagoons. For that reason, the fisheries industry is a key livelihood in the eastern province. On the other hand, sea waves, mesmerizing tourists from different walks of life, cuddle and hug the charming beach. Everything starts from here. As long as one stays on the top of the hill where the deity dwells, you will be able to catch this miraculous natural phenomenon before anyone else. What do you think of these little cradles? Yes, this is how prospective mothers place their vows before God for aspired pregnancies and new childbirths. Trincomalee is the main administrative city in the eastern province. During colonial times, the main administrative center of Trincomalee was at the Koneshwaram temple premises. In the city of Trincomalee, deer the hoofed ruminant animal roaming the streets is a striking feature. In addition to Koneshwaram, the Sri Patrakali Amman Temple, situated in the vicinity of the main bus stand of the Trinkmali town, is the other much sought after Hindu shrine. Asirimale Beach, which has been given its name due to the extraordinary grit found here is a peaceful resemblance of God himself. The beach is known as one of the most attractive beaches. In the jungle of the vicinity, Buddhist monks recluse in meditative trance. According to Buddhist records, Girihandu Stupa, said to be constructed by the Tapasu Baluka brothers at the time of the Buddha himself, is considered to be the oldest Buddhist stupa in the world. The Nilaveli Coastal Belt, a place that is free from the bane of hustle and bustle. Even the streams are calm and tranquil, making this area fascinatingly popular for boat tours, scuba and snorkeling. Pigeon Island is the only island national park in Sri Lanka located 1.2 naval miles away from the Nilaveli beach. 100 coral species are found around Pigeon Island, surrounded by a range of spectacular coral reefs. Tamil society is abundant with components of Indian traditions where profundity of interest is ever-present in Indian dance within the Tamils. This piece of silent land unspools the story of heroic people who had to sacrifice their lives in a strange place far away from their native home during the Second World War. A 
magnificent work of Mother Nature, the hot water springs, the hot water springs in Kanya. Here we find ruins of Buddhist shrines with a long history that goes back to before the common era. The Mangala Mahasaya, where Lord Buddha's forehead bone relic is enshrined. In historical chronicles, it is mentioned that an Indian royal couple had brought the sacred tooth relic of Lord Buddha to Sri Lanka in a vessel that birthed at a port situated in the vicinity of this place in the 3rd century BC. The sacred tooth relic of Lord Buddha, which is now enshrined in the Dalada Maligava, is worshipped by Buddhist devotees of the country. Large-scale bridges and fishery harbours in various scales are often located at the places where rivers and lagoons are connected. Treading along the waterways, you encounter mangroves and forests replete with wild animals. These boat trips are a safe method to see the wildlife. Various hotels and accommodation facilities for tourists can be found throughout the coastal region. Ayurvedic spa treatments offered in a domestic style are also available for visitors here under the supervision of an experienced doctor. It makes for a relaxing mind and body experience. A complete array of colonial era ruins are found here. The St. Mary's Cathedral, built during the Dutch period, is located in the suburbs of Batiklo. The colonial administrative building. The Dutch were masters of construction in such watercourses. These constructions testify that they amply used boats and barges. Distinctly visible is the famous Kalladi Bridge, an icon of Batiklo city. Singhalese and Tamil literature brings a gamut of poetry about the singing fish of this particular place. The new bridge stands close to the old one. Much has changed. Still, today when talking about Batiklo, one will always remember the singing fish of the Kalladi Bridge. A truly cordial and serene sea. Yes, it is Parsikuda. You can walk down almost one kilometer into the ocean without any hindrance. This is a precious gift of Mother Nature that has become the most popular tourist zone in the Batiklo district. This is an area where tourists often travel. The fishing industry, which extends inside the country through bays, augments the tourism industry. Fully fledged hotel rooms feature traditional architecture of Sri Lanka. Tourists can also enjoy a traditional meal here.
The demography of this eastern sea belt showcases all religious characteristics. In one place, Hindu cultural traits are visible. And in a moment, you come across a shopping street showing Muslim cultural traits. The multivalence of different cultural essences is observable in the East. And one can never forget its exceptional food culture. In any part of Sri Lanka, street food is widely prevalent. The same is visible in the Eastern province too. This makes it possible to obtain varied meals at minimal cost. Everywhere you travel, you can easily find a variety of hotels and homestay accommodation. Maratamune village is highly recognized for its handloom textiles. Tourists who are passionate about the sea never forget to touch the east. Possibly due to the fact that the east has inherited the most beautiful beaches of this country. This is the best beach for surfing in Sri Lanka. The eastern wind blowing on a long journey across the surface of the sea without any hurdles is extremely fast. These glitzy streams are loved by surfing sportsmen from different parts of the world. When it comes to Ampara, it is striking to note that it features another beautiful coastal belt such as Arugambe as well as a spectacular landscape. This parcel of land, bestowed by Mother Nature, is highly prosperous. The thickest forest cover in the eastern province is found in the Ampara district. National wildlife parks, for instance, Laugala and Arugambe, are found in the Ampara district. If you visit the Gal Oya Reservoir, which is adjacent to the Gal Oya National Park, you can surely see swimming wild elephants. These huge pachyderms, crossing over the waterway in search of their food resources on the islands located in the middle of the reservoir, is a spectacular sight to any visitor. the most popular bird sanctuary in Sri Lanka. More than 430 bird species, including those endemic to Sri Lanka, as well as resident and migrant species, are observable here. In the national park, some of the most attractive bird species that can be found are the waterfowl and wading birds. Among the hot water wells in various parts of Sri Lanka, the warmest hot water springs are found at Mahaoya in the Ampara district. The Panama coastline has become an astonishing sightseeing place due to its massive sand hills. A large number of places of worship belonging to various religions are found right across Ampara. Here we find ruins of Buddhist shrines with an extended history that goes back to before the common era. Long-standing Bigavapi sacred area 
which depicts an ancient prosperous state. The East, which has been abandoned for many years due to the prolonged conflicts lasting for three decades, flourished with a green environment due to the lack of human activities. Today, the East enjoys peaceful sunshine in a free country. The environment is getting fresher. In the end, everything changes. The environment which has long been distanced from the human eye is a site of extreme impressiveness. Come to the East to awake with the sun, to see everything in the world before everyone else. Yes, everything starts from here.